I was just at a restaurant in London, and uh, it's interesting. There were a group. Uh, there was a group of three guys that came in, and uh, they were Muslim. They they greeted in the, the the common way, and they were taken over to a table, and they were so kind, nice, happy smiles, and they joked that uh, they need a table for three, but they're going to eat for six, and just a nice, friendly group of guys. One guy had a a dyed blonde uh, beard and hair, so not real sure what that was about, but definitely fundamentalist and uh, they they came in and they started to sit down and then they found out from the waiter that there was alcohol served at the restaurant and from the name of it halal they probably thought that it was not served there and so they said oh no thank you um, we're, we'd prefer not and they left the restaurant without uh, sitting all the way down or eating and on the one hand yeah I'm scared of them because they're they're probably guys that are gonna go do something crazy um, of course, that's what I've been taught to believe. On the other hand, uh, they kind of stood up for what they believed in, and it's not something I believe in. I was enjoying some wine while they were there, but they did strongly believe in something, and they stuck up. They stuck with it, and they didn't eat in a place that had alcohol in it. And that's, you know, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, on the one hand, as long as they don't go blow something up tonight, that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, how many of us will stick to our beliefs like that? It reminds me of a Jew that I met at a Tony Robbins event, and uh, he wouldn't do any of the stuff that Jews are prohibited from doing on a Sabbath. And it, it messed up his whole conference experience. Not in his mind, he thought he was doing the right thing. But uh, I think what the Mennonites have done, what my uh, Lutheran minister friend does, and yeah, I don't agree with any of that stuff, but gosh, I love it when people stick with what they believe in. That's pretty cool. And, uh, I owe them some respect.